Okay, so today I'm here at the drill press, and this is a very handy tool for us to use, especially when you need to make a lot of holes that are either very deep or that need to match multiple times. It's easy to kind of make a template for this to um, hold the boards in the same place every time, and then, you know, crank it out and do hundreds and hundreds of holes that match perfectly. Or if you need to do holes that are a large diameter, sometimes when you're using an impact drill or a regular cordless drill, they don't have the power to do that. Or if you even get a corded drill um, and try to drill a hole, if you've got a wide diameter hole, um, you've got a really good chance of hurting yourself because the drill may be more powerful than you. And when that bit catches on something, it's gonna keep spinning but jerk you around. And so a drill press is a much safer tool for that. So today we've got a two by four, and this two by four already has a hole in it, or uh, sorry, this two by four already has a place where we have marked where we would like to put a hole. It does have a hole in it on the other side, but we're gonna put a hole right here today. And um, I've basically crossed off a spot where I'd like to line this up. So on my drill press here, first things first, um, we need to determine the depth of this table. So this table can move up and down. And if I wanted to take a hole, or take my two by four and drill a hole in it this direction, the table is too far up for me to do that. The bit can't even fit over it. Luckily, we're gonna go this way instead, so it will fit, but it's still kind of a big gap for us. So first thing we wanna do is raise the table just a little bit for us. So on the side of the back over here, we have a little handle that we can turn. And that loosens it up. And then on this side, close to me, there is a crank. Now we can crank this up, we can crank this down, we can even go left and right with it. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go about there. I think that's pretty good for a two by four. Crank this handle back down to tighten it so now it doesn't move. To make sure I can fit, oh, no, it's too much. Can't fit my two by four under there, so we're gonna go back and adjust it again. Go down a little, okay. Tighten that back up, and now <coughs> we can fit this under here. So you'll notice that I have a couple pieces of wood here. Okay, when I drill through this, I'm gonna put a hole all the way through this two by four to where I can see through it, okay? That means, that the bit has to go all the way through the 2x4. If I don't put these pieces of wood here, then the bit is going to go into this metal table, or hit the metal table and not go any farther, but destroy my bit, okay? A dull bit will not drill very well at all. Um, so we need to keep this as sharp as possible. We don't want to hit that metal frame in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to put some boards here, We've clamped them down so they're not going anywhere, okay? And then I'm gonna line my board up. Now, sometimes the drill has a laser on it. This one, the laser is not working today, so we can't use this laser. But sometimes it does, and you know, if you can find a drill with the laser, that's great. So what I wanna do first, before I start any type of drilling, is I'm gonna show you something. If I put my board over here, and I were to drill, I turn this handle and it raises and lowers the bit, okay? If I were to take this and come down fast or hit a piece of staple or screw or something like that, or if there's even a knot in the wood sometimes, any irregularity, then this is going to still spin. This motor is much more powerful than me, okay? So it's still gonna spin, but it's gonna grab this two by four and it's going to turn it this way at a high rate of speed. I think I have it set right now at 2,000 RPMs. So it's gonna spin this puppy around at 2,000 RPMs. Well, guess what? If I'm standing here, my body is in the way of that, and this is going to slam into my ribs at probably over 100 miles an hour and break my ribs. So I wanna make sure that I am not standing between the board and this post if it spins clockwise. So I wanna be way over here, and that way, if it catches and starts to spin, it's going to hit this clamp or it's going to hit this pole first, and it will shoot out, but it will shoot out away from my body. I'm not gonna get hurt. 
okay? You never want to get hurt, that's for sure. Now, if you're really concerned, sometimes you'll find some feisty wood that just wants to give you problems all the time, but you maybe don't have to make a lot of holes, then you might just go ahead and clamp this board down too, so that that way you've got extra support for it. Or if it's a long board, I tend to have a friend help me, have a partner, that holds the back end of the board so it doesn't swing around and take out half the people in the room. Okay, but, so we're gonna take this, before we start drilling, we're going to lower this while it's off and line it up with my little crosshairs that I made in the board, okay? So, I've got this in the right place. It's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead, make sure it's clear, turn on this switch and let it get up to full speed before I start. Hold firmly to the board and slowly lower the drill bit. You do not want to go fast. just slightly into this piece of wood. I don't need to go all the way down and keep cranking because it's not going to do any good. It's going to tear up this piece of wood and I have to get another one for the next time. But my 2x4 has a nice perfect hole. Okay. 